Hello everybody, this is Ninja OU here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I just got out to university, which means, yeah, these times a bit of an issue. Um, but ages and ages ago, I posted on the LUC that, what with the LUC sort of ending and utterly dying, um, that I was going to try and sort of, you know, put videos up whenever there was an announcement in the LU community. And it's something of... One, I don't know how many people are going to be interested in it, but a huge, in my opinion, development has just been made. So, the so almost everything in LU centres around uh, the internal game database. That's where um, basically all the disparate parts of the game. So stuff like the appearance of something, um, the skill tree that, uh, for instance, a particular item uses, all of that is linked up inside the game database. And so for modders, this game database is hugely important. Personally, I, I spent some time basically just taking a hex editor and going in and mucking with it, um, using the information available on, um, the, do on the Google Docs, uh, the documentation, um, provided by developers on the FDB format, um, and pretty much that's been the only good way of doing it. I heard some stuff that particular projects um, had developed um, good uh, good and efficient forms of FDB editing, FDB being the database file format, because that's the thing. This database format doesn't exist anywhere else. Um, it's No one's found any references to it, there are guesses to what it is. I know I've mentioned this in the past, but anyway. Um, yeah, what and so what's happened is, I think the first public FDB, uh, the first FDB editor, which with the ability to add and remove rows, has been made public. Um, it happened purely from a chance conversation I was having the other day uh, with Winston O1 on the LUCH, uh, and she basically just happened to mention, oh yeah, I've got an FDB editor. Um, capable of adding and removing rows. So why am I bothering to make a video on this? Why am I so excited? Well, mostly because this unlocks the ability for a huge amount more, more modding. So previously, if you wanted to create a new item, um, you'll see there's a previous uh, previous video I've done here about a shiny shield, which I made. Now, if I wanted to create a new item, previously I would have to basically take a pre-existing item and mod it. It's not too much of a problem necessarily for projects because there are loads of pre-existing items in the files which never actually appeared anywhere in the game. Um, so yeah, it's not a huge problem, but it's really, really bugging is that if, for instance, um, there was a, so there was a particular item. I want to say something like seven lot seven thousand three hundred and eleven. I had to look it up the other day um, for Winston, but I don't remember. Uh, what it is, so it's skill tree for instance, uh, you can, it goes under the name of test jump attack um, and for, this is an unreleased item which as the name implies was simply a test um, where jumping and attacking rather than having your default jump and sort of uh, kick slash punch or in the air attack and the uh, double jump style ground pound attack, the devs put two new, two totally new attacks into this one item. Um, and so previously, had I wanted to uh, basically create a new item, create this shield with those attacks, which I did want to do, that would have meant completely overwriting this pre-existing item, which I could do, but that then becomes a problem if I want to implement both the sword and the shield. And so what this is unlocked is the ability, what um, this FDB editor is unlocked is basically for the first time it publicly the technology is available to add new items, not just edit old items, but add completely new items to the game, which means modding has suddenly just taken a huge step forward. Um, yeah, so huge, cre uh, huge credit to Winston on this one. For those of you who don't know Winston, he is one of the Uchu devs. I'm sure he's going to be annoyed at how to pronounce that. But, um, it's uh, so for those and for those of you who don't know Uchu, you can find it on the LUS project site. But um, it's the, I think, only actively, de like, properly actively developed um, open source server at the moment. Um, it's certainly the furthest along. 
Um, it's run by um, Winston01 and Yui. I'm not totally certain again if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyway, uh, yeah, why are you just they figured if there's something because I've been predicting that at some point this will happen and this will come out and now that it has I, I had to put something out about it um, uh, admittedly I haven't got it to work yet because the visual studio has been annoying on my computer um, but yeah expect hmm. Nice email sound. Uh, expect stuff like uh, stuff about this to be coming in the future, because yeah, this is it's a huge breakthrough, and I know I for one, once I get it up and running, am going to be creating mods. Um, there's still something of an issue of like managing mods, because um, you sort of w want some sort of centralized mod loader, um, and uh, potentially patches to different projects can put particular mods on so for instance if GLU wants to add a dark text boss battle then they would need to distribute well actually no that's a bad example because DLU has their own patch and runs their own patching but um, LCDRU for instance um, if LCDRU wanted to add a boss battle you'd need a mod patcher to basically update the game files so that's sort of in order for this to become practical that's still to come but as I just had to post this now because this is such a large breakthrough and yeah it's compared to where I uh, to where things were when I first came and started looking at client modding and there were a couple of people who did it Avery of course just doing whatever he wants to up ahead of everyone else in terms of client editing but then yeah just a couple of people this is a huge breakthrough um so yeah I don't know what's gonna happen in terms of this because as I say now university so yeah who knows um i'm gonna be getting very busy very soon but um yeah um usual messages you know, at the end of this video thank you all for listening if you've enjoyed this video uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the developers of all the projects um which i'll link in the description yeah yeah the standard thing also huge shout out to winston I generally don't put Winsent and or, or Yui and Uchu in general in the description. Yeah, perhaps I should do now. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bad for not doing so. But yeah, um, anyway, that's this announcement video. Thanks for watching. This is Ben Trevoyu. See you around.